Emma Stone is unbelievable in Poor Things. She yeah. this, this is one of the most bold, really vulnerable portrayals you can have in a movie. She is a woman at the top of her game. She doesn't have to be naked in a third of a movie, and yet she is here. And she's so funny. <laughs> it's a weird movie to think of as as really funny, just think when you try to describe it. But it is. I mean, it's just it's hilarious. And she's so great in it. And I don't think anyone will be surprised if she wins. She's one of the two favorites, just like she was in the movie The Favorite. <laughs> I'd be super stoked if she won. I'd also be stoked if Lily Gladstone won because she was yes. excellent. Yes, she is very, very good. She's kind of the favorite. Uh, she's the favorite in our house, but it would it would be hard to argue either way because yeah, they're both so good and so different. I mean, you know, for Emma Stone, it's a really you know, like I said, hilarious, bombastic, uh, you know, out there, wild performance. And Lily Gladstone, it's it's so much the opposite. You know, it's a lot of subdued facial reaction. You know, just different, quiet moment type of performance and and they're, they're both really really good i wonder if if emma stone wins if some of that is going to be from folks who felt that gladstone wasn't in enough of the movie or didn't carry enough of killers of the flower mm-hmm. which would be hard to do in a nearly four hour long movie i mean right. people i've seen people say you know she's supporting but it's like i don't know is dicaprio in that much more of the movie than her i, I don't know i i think it's probably pretty close well, and I always try to remember, too, for me, when I'm thinking about it, um, you know, not to get too technical here, but I always think of like the wording of the actual category. It's, you know, best actress in a leading role. It's not best actress with the most screen time, you know, and it's like, is Lily Gladstone, is that a leading role? Like, yes, that is the leading role of the movie. You know, what I mean, like she the plot revolves around her. Yeah. So like, regardless of like, you know, if DiCaprio has more screen time or whatever, and I think they're both leading roles. I mean, I think those are the you can say that they're both leading roles. You can have more than one. Yep. But I mean, she's definitely a lead role and i'm glad they nominated her there correctly it's interesting you say that too because by that line of thinking you could say that dicaprio and de niro both had leading roles although i think it's fair to put de niro in the supporting category i don't know a lot of it's political too definitely Um, yeah yeah but yeah she's wonderful 